I'm Davey. I'm Misty. DM Watts. Unscripted. Unedited. Unapologetic. Let's get it. What's going on, everybody? I'm Davey. I'm Misty. And <clears throat> welcome to another episode of DM Watts Podcast. So, real quick, the blue and yellow. Ukraine, make sure you guys are heading over there. And well, I say heading over there. Make sure you guys are supporting the blue and yellow. Oh, I see the heart. Yeah. What? It's been there. I, apparently, I must have. I'm, I'm just now noticing the heart. Yeah. <laughs> we had the heart there. I mean, yeah, it's been there for weeks. Uh, make sure you support the blue and yellow any way you possibly can, guys. Uh, Ukraine. DMYSpodcast.com is where you guys head on over to the website and check us out there too, as well as all the other streaming services. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hello. And the streaming services, hello, if you're listening to us. We're in some crypto and our service dog, which is sitting next to us, wondering where her treats are, says hello. <laughs> I love a girl. Yeah, Jack yeah. Again, buying yeah we forgot today. to buy some treats, so they're still looking at us like, what are you doing? Like, hey, we don't, yeah. we don't come down here and you yeah. just don't start talking until you start yeah, throwing us yeah. treats. Sorry, sorry. That's why they're just looking at me right now. So but they'll be all right. They will be all right. So they'll, let's see. They'll here. get through it. So it's funny. Uh, the title of this podcast is going to be why is therapy important <laughs> the reason why we're uh, laughing is because we had therapy today because mm -hmm. that's what we do or should um, we say yesterday because this is yesterday, airing on whatever. wednesday so yeah. the day that we're doing this fishbowl topic mm -hmm. is the day we had therapy mm -hmm. um and there's so many reasons i'm not gonna say that i don't always feel better when i come out of the therapy session but i'd say seven out of ten times i feel better coming out of therapy yeah i say off my chest i say so with with therapy you got to look at it a couple of ways uh, so you may have a lot of things that you want to get out but then you you know lots of times when you get it out to people it comes across as you're just you know being the a-hole or you're just mean or this and this that and you're you like okay you're talking right about. you don't know what you're saying so lots of times you want to just even if you want to just yell, you know what I mean? Even if you yeah. want to just yell, because like, let's face or it. cry. Yeah. Because otherwise people gonna, people will look at you funny if you randomly doing that stuff, right? People don't like it when you randomly come up to them and start screaming at yeah. them or yeah. crying. If you ever had a, you walk up to a person and say, hey, how's your day going? Next thing you know, they're like, Bleh. you're like, bro. Uh, Diarrhea, yeah, vomit, yeah, the, the mouth. mouth. And you're like, hey, so maybe so, yeah, I'm just going to throw this I out there. I was just saying happy holidays. Mm -hmm. Didn't like, know. I was more expecting you to say, fine. And then, you know, leave it at that. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sorry about, you know, whatever happened, whoever passed away or this happened to you, this happened to it's you. It's hard. But yeah, so it can be, but, but that can lead up to, like we said, let's talk about why is therapy important. So on the flip side of that is like, hey, I just want to be heard, right? Sure. There's that. The other side is that like, hey, you may have some mental things that have happened traumas have some trauma yeah i keep saying mental things you may have had some traumas that have, <laughs> trauma causes yeah, mental, mental things. things yeah <laughs> you may have had some trauma that's happened in your life yeah. that, that you know the brain that was like hey we don't need to deal with this right now sure and the brain you know what, what I mean? it doesn't start processing <clears throat> is it tucks it away it tucks it away for another day for another for day a nice rainy day yeah, that's and, usually just a beautiful sunny yeah. day that you're having fun and next yeah. thing you know you're on the ground yeah so those for those times you know what i'm saying um like, I, I know I don't speak, everybody doesn't have the, you know, the VA services. No. However, there are hotlines you can call. There are. That, that, and honestly, we've been seeing those commercials a lot more well, for and, mental health. You and, know, and a good side of pandemic, if there is one, it, it made things, uh, telehealth a possibility. Absolutely. It made mental health free. Yeah. A lot of it. Um, and video chats and just texting and yeah. all of those things that you can with, um, actual counselors now yeah an amazing amazing side yeah. of the pandemic yeah because i i'm noticing that now lately like you said with the telehealth like before you would call me like, hey i want this to be a phone appointment well that's nice uh we don't do those so come on in you know what i mean right but yeah and now it's literally like no i want a phone appointment. okay yeah that's fine yeah, no problem, or I want a video appointment. yeah video appointment they got the, the because think about it if your doctor needs labs you can go in there at any given time and yeah. just give labs and then say, Hey, I just meet me on the video when we're done. You can talk about the labs, talk about, you know, whatever's on my mind and things like that. You know, we can do all those things, but <clears throat> you know, that before, for some odd reason, now that we do it this way, you're like, why did we do it any other way? 
Like, you know, like I don't have to right. leave the comfort of my home. And you shouldn't have to if you're in therapy. I mean, right. that's, that's a big part of it. I mean, obviously for someone that is, let's say, agoraphobic. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to have therapy in your home. But the whole goal then is to get you outside the right. house. And, and sometimes that can be, a lot of times it can help. Because, you know, I can tell you right now, it takes us about, about 20 minutes to get to the vet center. 20 minutes to get to the vet center and that drive there. You know, I mean, yeah, we talk to each other and stuff sure. like that, but sometimes it's the, the drive there is just getting out and breathing yeah. and, you know, and getting over there. Then once you get there, you can tell them, you know, in a less angry way, what's on your mind. Exactly. If you've had it, you know what I mean? Cause you have time to think, yeah. you know what I mean? Think it yeah. over, like maybe it may not be like this and so on and so forth. But what do we got? You got, so you looked up some I stuff do. on general health, uh, mental health. Here. Nearly one in five American adults will have a diagnosable mental health condition in any given year. And 46% 40 of Americans will meet the criteria for a diagnosable mental health condition sometime in their life with half of those people developing conditions by the age of 14. That's from Mental Health America. Um, and, and that's just it. Do I feel like every teenager needs to be in therapy? No, because um, we still got plasticity going on. We don't have uh, uh, emotional, mental capacity mm -hmm. until we're 25 yeah all these things are going on we're still growing do i think some of them do absolutely but i really do as an adult i believe that the stigma of therapy needs to go away yeah um older generations did not have it yeah they did not have it it, it was a either you were rich <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you'd go see a shrink or a mm -hmm. quack um or you were absolutely crazy and afraid yeah. of the mental institution <clears throat> that they would put you in. Right. And because it can be. and Which look, is not at all what any of that is anymore. The, the stigma of mental health. I mean, don't get me wrong. In some case, let's, you know, we got to call the good with the bad at the same time. Right. Sure. So like the stigma of good mental health is like, look, I don't want to be put away somewhere. Like, let, let's face it. You go to a therapist and I'm like, hey, what's going on? Look, I've been thinking a lot about killing, you know, this dude, like straight up killing. I have a plan. I know it, you know, I know his work schedule, this, this, and that, and this, this, this. Yeah. Thanks for being that person to talk to about it though. No, that therapist is like, uh, you stay right here. Don't you worry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's be that way. But let's look at the other side of that too. When you go in there and you're like, look, I have problems dealing with my anger. Yeah. You know, big difference. Like, Hey, I want to kill this guy. First I'm having a problem dealing with um, my anger. I'm, yeah. I'm just sad all the time. I can't concentrate. Right. I can't focus. Right. So it's it's for all of that right so you know I, I was going with it like you know the good and the bad with therapy there there's that good there is bad when it comes to therapy not to sway people from it but let, let's face it nothing is 100 percent good right because i know it being in the military one of the biggest things is <clears throat> don't go to see mental health yeah. don't go see mental that's that's the stigma is don't yeah. go see mental health because you could lose your career and then, you know, your leadership is like, no, they just want to make sure that you're okay and this and that. Okay, but what if you're not? Then you got to go. That, that, look, it's a stigma that everybody thinks no matter what, you're going to get kicked out of the military if you go see mental health. No, seriously. If you do anything, mm -hmm. it's like this background of I'll get kicked out if I do that, mm -hmm. including helping yourself. And I'm not going to lie. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Kinda yeah, is yeah. That way. it happened to us. Kind of is. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and yeah. say that, that that's not what happened, but at the same time. And we're also not saying that they didn't offer treatment. Exactly. It was going to be their treatment. Exactly. And it wasn't necessarily going to be the treatment that would have been good for Davey. Yeah, and, and not only that, you know, you, you got to understand a few things here. Because the military is a well-oiled machine, right? Of course. It's a, it's a well-oiled machine. And what, what happens, you know, when one of those gears in a well-oiled machine, you know, isn't this oiled up and, and, and ready, ready to, to go? Ready to go. The other ones that are so, up. right. So you take that gear out and you lube it up, right? Which, hey, go see mental health. Let's get you back to what you need yeah, to do. Yeah. And you take put that gear, right. You get that, put that gear back in and it's still spinning, right? Sometimes you take that gear out and you're like, hey, look, it's, it's been great. It, it was a good gear, but we got to put it over here. Yeah. And we got to put a different uh, gear in yep. the machine, which can transfer us over to like, all right, look, and you know this we're not going to be able to to get you back or you're worse than what we can do 
for you right now. Sure. Or you, you have I mean? to make that decision. Or you have to make that decision. Your treatment, treatment is, is more yeah. important than this career. Right. So because the, it seems that when it comes to that, at least from, a, you know, I ain't going to spend too much time, but the, the military standpoint, like literally you're putting your career and in, in you're putting a career, the, 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 you know, the military above your own mental health. What yes. good are you, though, if you don't say anything and it gets worse? How are you helping then? Right. How are you right now? You're like, oh, man, I have nightmares. I have trouble sleeping or I got this going on. OK, but I don't want to go see mental health. What happens when those nightmares turn into angry outbursts, fits of crying? You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, nobody can get along with you. Disassociation, disassociation with people yeah. and so on and so forth. You know, what I mean, it, it's, it's just a spiral out of control. It's like, hey, regardless of what you feel may happen, you got to take care of yourself. You really do. And you have to, you have to recognize those signs. And if, if you're curious about therapy or you think, ah, I don't need it, but there's a, still a little voice inside of you that says, maybe you do, you need to seek out someone. I yeah. mean, there, there are websites upon websites. Yeah. There is help in your area. I promise you there is. Um, but I also, the, the other part of mental health, I think what's important to know about mental health is if you do seek out a therapist, you're not always going to get along with that therapist nope. and that therapist isn't always going to work. Or you're going to disagree. So at that point, you have to either a work through that with your therapist, just like okay. any other human, <clears throat> or you've got to go find another one. And, and I think the biggest misconception with therapists, uh, what people believe a psychiatrist, psychologist, any of them, they've got to remember, this is their job. Mm -hmm. And they're not there for everybody to like them. Exactly. And they know that if you need to let them go, it's got nothing to do with them, really. Exactly. It's got everything to do with you and your treatment and you're taking charge of that. Yeah. So I, you know, they expect to get fired. That's not an emotional thing. Don't be like, oh, yeah, I don't like them, but I'm going to keep going because I don't want to hurt their mm. feelings. That's I, I did the it. point of therapy. Uh, I did, did it. it. Yeah, I did it. it and it, I gave him time yeah, because until I stepped in. Yeah, because, you know, I was just like, oh, and, but that's the exact excuses that I was using. Yep. Yeah, but I like, you know, I don't, you know, it's not his fault. It doesn't mean, but yeah, but this isn't working for you. And it was seriously a matter of, hey, look, I like, I think you're a good therapist. I just don't think you're the right one for me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but that's what we're talking about. It may take you a few therapists before you get to one that actually fits you and you have, you both can have that rapport with each other. Yes. To where he or she gets you. Yes. You know what I mean? And so, there's always goals. Uh, therapy is associated with goals. What do you want to see? What do you want to achieve? What are you hoping to get back to or go to? Um, there is homework. Of course there is. You will have to put in the work. If you yeah. don't, therapy's not going to work. That's the thing. Uh, a lot of people, you know, you have to understand there's already already the stigma of therapy, right? Like, no, I don't want to go talk to, you know, a shrink or, you know, a quack or whatever you want to call them. You know what I mean? Call them whatever you want. Because it's like, do you want to get better? That means you got to work at it, right? So if you go to, I've, I've has had that happen to me, where you go to a therapist and they say, okay, so this week before we meet next week, this is what I want you to do. Right. I want you to do A, B, and C. Yeah. And then you don't do none of it. And then the next week they see you. Well, did you do it? Yeah, I did. Well, did you know the thing? Well, no, I didn't know it's the difference. Or you make up some stuff or yeah. or whatever. And then it's like, that doesn't help you at all. And it doesn't help them. It either. doesn't help. And, you it's know, it's, it's like, it's a waste of time. Like, you know what I mean? It's so in it. But then all that does is fuel your doubt about therapy. Yeah. You're actually, yeah, you know, it's like, this point, ain't working. This it doesn't is work. a self fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. Because you've set them up to fail and you've set yourself up to fail because you've gone in with the attitude of therapy doesn't work. So now you're going to make sure it doesn't work, work by not doing so the other part of it. About yeah. it and, yeah. and that doesn't work. Yeah. And, and it's not, it's not fair. Yeah. You know I and mean? so if you've actually gone to therapy, you know, and you start noticing the difference and that, that's another thing I have to add on to it. You go to therapy and you start to notice a difference. That doesn't mean it's time to stop therapy. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, doesn't that just mean, means you're doing better. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean that it's time. Work. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's time to stop there. And I also, you know, the hardest thing, like we were saying, different generations, you know, older generations, that wasn't part of your guys's thing. And I get that. Um, but now we recognize it. And you need to seek out help. You have been through trauma, someone, you know, out there. 
probably has it and, and by God, you're blessed because you haven't seen, you know, anything, but for a majority of, of Americans, we've all been through something and the pandemic at the very least was traumatic for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what does it hurt to go talk to someone that, you know, isn't going to talk about you behind your back, yeah. um, isn't going to go around to the family members and say, Hey, they're losing their crap yeah, over yeah. there or they're, you know, yeah. And I, I, I mean, let's, let's, let's be real about this. Cause that's how we do. Right. You know, unapologetic, unscripted, unedited. Right. So let's be real about this. Uh, there's a condition called CPTSD, right? Yep. But I'm looking at, I can't remember which one that stands for. I think it's compact PTSD. No. But I'm renaming it to COVID PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's COVID PTSD. I like that. You know what I mean? It's COVID PTSD. We have all been in a pandem pandemic for the first time in our life, for the majority of us. The first time in our life, we have gone through a pandemic to where you have literally been stuck inside your house. You have been stuck inside your house for the longest times. You know, think about the things that are going on. And if you're looking and you're asking, what is going on in this world? People getting it, continuously getting in fights on the airlines now. You know, people, you know, saying it's it's yeah. it's no longer just difference of opinions. It's attacks. It is if you a got a mask attack. it on, if I don't have a mask a on. True attack. You know, you got women and, and men coughing on people on purpose if they have on a mask. You know, as because it's a joke. You got people calling the police on people yeah. because they said a joke. Yeah, and it's, it's loud, right. So or they looked in your direction. Yeah. So like now it's kind of like let, I mean, this is example of what we're talking about. Now it's kind of like hey, reintegration in in with people, like you you into a normal functioning into society, a normal functioning that society. That was oh, right. Twenty eighteen. Let's be honest 2019. here. Twenty nineteen. COVID had us looking out our window, and there was there wasn't a, a car. At all, oh, I think man. that's the quietest I have and ever. And we live on a really main. We live on a main road, road yeah. Not, mm -mm. and it was, it was, it was like, wow, this. It is, was eerie. This is what it would be like to live in the country, but at the same time, it was extremely eerie. It was eerie because we know we live on a main road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but I want to say this too, and don't start with me, but I'm going to say this: it's not always something you can pray away either. That's true. Yes, God can be your your listener and and your, you know, advocate and all of that stuff, of course. But you also have to put in the work too. And prayer doesn't always work. It doesn't always take the stress out. It doesn't always give you the sounding board that you need. Um, well, and that you, you've got to do the work. You've got to do right. the help. We wouldn't have therapists. Yeah. If well, we didn't need them. I'm sorry. Uh, true. And I, I can say looking at it a uh, uh, a different way you can say prayer does work if you're willing to put in the work right but what i mean by that is you're not what about if therapy isn't god answer to your prayer well and that's you ever look at it that I way get, like you I know what i mean frustrated with that um because it's like you know well did you pray about it of course i prayed about it mm -hmm. that's the first thing i do um but then, you know, so what if God answers the prayer of if you're just sitting there going, Lord, I just need help. I just need help. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right. Help. And then a therapist knocks on your door or you meet someone in a coffee shop that says, hey, you can come talk to me for oh, free. Yeah. Anytime you want. And and you continue to pray and ask God for help because that's a therapist. And yeah. that's against your religion or that's against God or whatever you think it is. And God's going, well, I tried. Yeah. I, I tried <laughs> to give you someone in a human form. <laughs> You've refused. Yeah, so. yeah. So what do you expect me to do right now? You know what I mean? So I, just, I worry about people like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, but you know, at the, at the same time, it's, it's just so important. You, you worry about people like that, but at the same time is, you know, self-sabotage is a real thing too. It really, really Self-sabotage. And not only can help you with that. And it's, but it's also not just self-sabotage. So I, I, I don't remember the word. It's, it's not clicking, but those people who, sabotage himself then get mad because you're not coming to the rescue because oh, you know sure. even though you've given them numerous things that they could do but one you're not doing it for them you know what i mean or you're just not seeing you know everything that they're saying you're just not agreeing with you know what i mean right so and, look at it that way yeah well yeah that makes sense <laughs> I don't know the word for it. No, no. I, well, but it is, it's, you know, I, I'll say to you sometimes in joking, I'll be saboteur. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're just stubbing your toe yeah. and doing all this stuff and just yeah. causing yourself to have a Yeah, but I, I mean, but that we have, since we've been in therapy, 
it's it's funny because it's not a joke. Uh, we'll come out of our therapy session and get in the car. It is. Well, we'll come out of each other's therapy because we schedule it at the same time, different people, right? But we'll come out of our therapy session, sit in the car, and like, hey, so what did you talk about? And it's like, it's don't get me wrong, we're like, hey, if you don't want to talk about it, okay. Yeah, that's cool. not a thing. Like, yeah. We don't have to talk about it if yeah. we don't want to. So, but it's funny that if if I start or she'll start, it, it we literally have talked about the same exact thing in, every in therapy. Time. Every it has never every failed. Every time. Without so, fail. Right. So, it, and also it, it's a testament to what's on our minds. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a testament to what's on our minds and how in tune that you, we can be. But I, I also have to say for those who are completely 100% against therapy, if you never tried it, how do you know it doesn't work? If you've only gone once. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do you know it doesn't work? If you haven't truly given it the time and tried the techniques that they give you, yeah. how do you know it doesn't work? And and for people that have gone through a lot of trauma, a lot of mm -hmm. death, a lot of, you know, nine times out of 10, a lot of people are walking around with PTSD that don't realize it. And you know what the scariest thing to me is the term psychotic break. That scares the life out of me yep. because that means that I could be walking around having, you know, work or drawing or whatever it is. We could be at a ball or a dinner and I could just break. Yeah. My brain could literally just be like, you know what? All of it. Yeah. Just all of it. It's got to go all of it. And that scares me. And I yeah. think that's another reason why I was so, once I noticed that we had been going through some stuff, you mm -hmm. know, outside forces, I was like, no, I, I need to go because I was so scared of that. And I, I'm so sorry for people that have to go through yeah. a psychotic break to get the help that they already deserve. They just aren't ready for it, or they are refusing to do it, or they're too busy, or they're too important in their lives, or they're the only ones that take care of their kids to take care of themselves. I mean, just excuse, excuse, mm -hmm. excuse. It's important. It is part of our health routine. And if you believe in health, then you have to believe in mental health. Absolutely. And we've got to take care of our brain. We just have to. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> you know, this isn't, <clears throat> excuse me, this isn't something that we're just speaking on, like, oh, what qualifies y'all to speak on is that we're not experts, but we are, we are, we are, I was just going to say, <laughs> we're, we are literally talking about it from experience. Like, I'm this an expert is, on me yeah. and what has happened to me. Yeah. He's an expert on him and yeah. what has happened to him. I'm an expert on, on being an outsider watching him yeah. and what I saw, mm -hmm. just like he is with me. Yeah. And so, you know, in that way, we are qualified to say, hey, therapy works. When he was with the therapist that didn't work for him, yeah. he was regressing. He was going so yeah. far backwards that I was starting to not recognize him. Mm -hmm. And that's when I intervened and said, nope, I gave you six months. It's yeah. done. I'll go with you yeah. if you need me to and fire the guy. <laughs> and I kept assuring yeah. him, this is his job. Yeah. You know, this and, is, he expects that. And right? that's the thing though. He was very receptive. Yeah. Of it. He said, man, I, you know, but there he has said, we're to not be clear goals. Yeah, and absolutely. Getting any. Yeah. And, so, and there has to be an end game. Yeah. Because believe it or not, if you've been to the same therapist for 20 years, then you're just going to meet your friends so you can unload mm -hmm. stuff. There yeah. has to be goals. You have to know what you want going in and what you want coming out of it. Right. So do you, you know, you, you gotta ask yourself this. If you're sitting here and you have those same thoughts every day, which gradually, eventually they'll get worse because if there's nobody there for you to get those sure. thoughts out, you know, she mentioned psychotic break. You know what I mean? You could be walking and somebody say, hey, how you doing? And that's, uh, that's what, it. That's it. They go postal. So that Remember the, the, the term postal? Yeah, that could be the straw that broke the camel's back. You say, hey, how you doing? And you know what I mean? And so you never wanted to get to that. Right. You never wanted to get to a point where literally people have no desire to be around you whatsoever. And I, I, I have to say this caveat also. Actually... If you go to therapy, or should I say when, because I hope you guys are taking this and actually, you know, looking at it as something serious. When you go to therapy, be honest about it. Be be honest That's about it. it. The therapist is not there to be like, hey, are you thinking of, have you thinking about hurting somebody? You know, about a month ago I did, but no, I'm not having those. 
thoughts right. anymore. He ain't finna sit there be like, all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> so, but it's also not gonna work if you go in lying. Yeah, it never works it's if you go in lying. Work. The majority of the time, the majority of people who say that therapy doesn't work is because one, they didn't go. Two, they didn't go long yeah. enough to give it a chance. You know what I'm saying? Or three, they haven't recognized that that therapist is just not the one for them. And they don't want to go through the process of trying to find another one. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I, I mean, I may be maybe four or five, maybe I'm missing some too, but you know, in my opinion, those are the top three yeah. right off the top that they're just like, Hey, I need, this ain't working in a nutshell. Yeah. It's time for me to move on. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's yeah. just what it comes down to. Absolutely. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I think we might've beat it up beat it down but we did but it's but very we're very passionate about very it. much there's so many phone numbers i promise you there's so many yes. um organizations out there that will offer you free help nobody will judge you we all need a tune-up that's yes. all it is is just a little tune-up to say you know like me i have i have certain goals one of my goals i'll share which was meditation mm. it was getting back to meditating i used to be big into it um and i noticed that when i would meditate I didn't let things get to me so mm. much. And I came from a place of peace and calm and not a place of war. So that was one of my goals. And I've been working on that. It's mm. not always easy. Yeah. But if I have five minutes in bed, you know, yeah. before we have to get out of bed, more than likely I'm going ahead and just doing my meditations in yeah. my mind. So it's just, it can be that simple, a simple goal like that. Yeah. And, and what do I need to do to get there? Yeah. And, and so I, I have to say, that, that when it comes to that, you know, you're right. Uh, goals. Goals. It's just <laughs> goals. Start small to work up to the big. Yep. Start yep. small to work up to the big. So, but you got anything else, baby? I don't. It's okay. important. Do it. If you're waiting for your sign, here's your sign. Go to therapy. <laughs> yeah, go to therapy. <laughs> there it is. What and are you crazy? Exactly. You I know, therapy. right? You need help. And the last thing I will say on it is we're, we're, we're coming from experience. We're not coming as being no, experts. Yeah. We're coming from just, experience. So, normal people absolutely so like we said in the beginning blue and yellow make sure you guys support ukraine in any way possible any way that you can absolutely. go ahead and support those people over there dmwatchpodcast.com is where y'all can find our videos you guys can find us on all the streaming services also on youtube a uh, little fun fact you go to dmwatchpodcast.com you're gonna see youtube videos yeah you yep, you'll see the youtube videos uh so we're in some crypto too our service dog is over there chewing on a bone. Yeah. And uh, our other one is laying next to us. So there's that. So anyway, <laughs> signing off for Dear Watts Podcast. I am Davey. I'm Misty. And look, one last time, if you feel that you need it, if you're thinking about need it, just do it. Go just it. go try it. Like go try it. it. But hey, we're Dear Watts Podcast, guys. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Bye. Bye.